<laughs> yo, 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 what up, guys? Welcome back to May I Top, your new favorite podcast. I'm your host, Phil. Today, I got my boy, Santi, with me. What's up, what's up? This is your first time, like, on yeah. podcasts, right? Or even, like, yeah. talking about My like, podcast like, virginity is gone. It's gone. Oh, this dude. is it. I'm excited. That's a lot of pressure on me, you know? It is. I'm not used to it. I always I used to think me. that, that's, like, That's podcast. too much pressure on me. That's too much pressure on me. Mm-hmm. Too much. There are people that actually, like... And I'm talking about sex now. I'm, I'm switching the topic real quick. Okay. Um, because the same thing applies, right? Where like some people feel like it's too much pressure if you're taking someone's virginity away. I think it's actually kind of like an accolade. It should be like an honor. Like, that's like, like a badge, treated. right? Like a Boy Scout, like a Boy <laughs> Scout badge. <laughs> no, bro, that's fucked. No, I think Boy Scouts are celibate. Boy Scouts? They're like monks, right? Like white monks. Essentially, Not yeah. White. My bad. Like American monks, right? <laughs> Americanized monks, yeah. That kid from Up, bro. He has to be celibate for the rest of his life. Forever. He can't, like, throw his V-card out like that. He can't He can't be jacking off, bro. None of Why that. Why do you think he likes balloons? <laughs> Why do you think he likes balloons? <laughs> he likes balloons. That's it. I'm just, that's all I'm going to say. He likes balloons. No, explain that, bro. Explain your theory behind that. Because if you, <laughs> if you get two balloons just make something that up. are relatively small, all right, and you fill them up, Halfway with air, not too much. You can just like titties. Yeah, yeah. So he's he's got it. He's got like his, wo- his wilderness titties. Those balloons. His wilderness titties. Yeah. They had to have like a good amount of air. Like it made the whole house jump, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, squeeze bro. one and it pops, run. You're done. How would that work? Like I feel like the most realistic way we can do that, right, to get a house floating in the air, is if we did it with like a camber. Or like a mobile ca- home. What it, oh, a camper. Like RV type beat. Okay. Because that's like light, kind of, for a house. Yeah. That is. Yeah, because it's like a mobile home. It'll be easier. Not I like an actual house. I think you can even do that with the houses in Florida because there's like a code that like contractors got to follow where like the roof is stuck to the foundation. Oh, I didn't know that. I don't know too much the about that. The more you know, bro. The more you know. know. Yeah, and all houses in Florida have basements, so it'll be really difficult to actually have that floating. Because you'd have to get the basement with it, too. All houses in Florida have basements. <laughs> like, you can't have a basement in Florida. Because no, sinkholes. No, it's... You have to read further down. <laughs> it's like in the fine print, you, you're allowed to have a basement. Bro, man's living in the upside down from Stranger Things. Always have been. Mm-mm. Nah, man, I'd be scared as fuck if I had to live in Stranger Things, dude. I never watched it. I was never a big fan. I watched, like, a couple episodes, but that's it. Oh, uh, it, it's pretty hype, actually. I... To this day, I haven't watched the last episode. And I'm not... Because they, they released uh, season three or four. Yeah. And yeah, I heard of it. There's so much talk released, about it. like, two more episodes after that. Mm-hmm. I watched the first one. I haven't watched the second one yet. All right. So you like it? You like the show? I do. I do. I just haven't gone around to watching it. What's I don't it think about? I Stry- Dude, that's such a hard-ass question. That's <laughs> like asking me how to do calculus. <laughs> Stranger Things is literally calculus, but with like sc- like screenwriting. Screenwriting, okay, that's exactly what I needed to hear. Now I get it. But um, a lot of people are, like have been dressing up as like Stranger Things characters for Halloween and minions. Know? And minions. Oh my god! Did you watch the movie? I did not. It was pretty good. I was about to like. I actually really liked it. There were so many like just the juxtapositions. It. Yeah, it was beautifully created. You probably watch it because of eat. No, no, I didn't. I don't like eat. Eats I'm not too right. big on him. Eats it. Mm-hmm. It's a funny song though. What's it's it called? Uh, it's called. I like, like Victor. <laughs> I like Victor. He probably said that. I don't know. No, that, that's a song. His song is I. I don't like for the Victor. minions. Oh, movie. He has two songs. Really? I thought he had like the main one. It's like I got money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got money. In that song, he's like I don't like Victor. Oh, I don't like Victor. I didn't know that. That's funny. Vector that makes it even song. funnier now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Because um, the movie was supposed to debut like that weekend, and two days before it was premiering, they asked you to hop on. That's dope. That's easy money for him. It really is. Very it really easy is, money bro. For him. But like the Minions producers, they caught on quick to the Yeet hype. So they were kind of smart for that, too. That's good. You yeah. got to give them kudos to that. But for Halloween, right? So we got Stranger Things, we got Minions. Um, what else? Andrew Tate. Imagine dressing up like him, like you get like a fake I feel like bald. people will. That'd be funny. I feel I like you'll fu- see that on Barstool, dude. That'd be really funny. I'm calling it right now. You will see Andrew Tate costumes on Barstool. Hit us up if you see him. 
Hit him up, bro. Send What's that up? shit my way, and we will put it up on the screen back here. Yeah. All right. We'll, like giveaway, we'll give you like a dollar on Cash Up no, if you send it to us. I don't got that. <laughs> All right. Two dollars on Cash Up. One, one and one. Oh, I don't got one that. One. All right. Three dollars on Cash Up. Three dollars <laughs> keeps going up, bro. Um, no, that's wh- funny. What would you go as, bro? What Can't would I go take? as? That'd no. be fun. That's no matter how bad you want to do it, bro, you can't. You can't go. That'd as be really take. funny. Oh shit. Let's see. Who would I dress up as for Halloween? I was never the. Do you know what I'm talking about? The morph costumes. Morph. It's oh like, yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, the skins, yeah. like the skin, yeah, the skin suits. suits. Yeah, yeah, I could do that. <laughs> just <laughs> just like, rob houses <laughs> on Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> you beat me to it. <laughs> morph suit, bro. That's premeditated right there. If like you go through with it now. Morph suit. <laughs> That's such a Florida man thing, dude. It is. Local Florida team <laughs> dresses up in morph suit. <laughs> <laughs> what if you get swatted? Wearing a morph suit. Like, you have, like, cop cars surrounded you. Helicopters, bro. That'd be the best thing. Tanks, bro. And, like, you're just in the middle of it all in a morph suit. <laughs> and, like, you look at it through, like, the recording. Like, the live footage. And it's just, like, a black figure. Just <laughs> running. It's just all black figure. It's like a shadow. Oh, my God. Your mugshot, dude. Like, you're still wearing the morph suit, but, like, the hood's down. The hood's down. It's, like, unzipped. That's funny. <laughs> You're holding the side where you got the morph suit glove on, bro. I had a Captain America morph suit. I had a Slender Man morph suit. It's like a black, like a suit and stuff. So they sort of look like Slender Man-ish. That was pretty dope. Captain America? Yes. Was it like blue, red, like bright? Was it obviously I Captain actually America? Have, I actually have pictures for that. Did you have a shield? Uh, It didn't come with it. I had to. Did you make it? No. You bought it? Yeah. Did it swing? Was it like a boomerang? It was more like a frisbee. Like a frisbee. Mm-hmm. Was it like... Ri- did you Bank have like a off that? That frisbee was like 15, 20 bucks. For this shield? Yeah, and it was like the size of this throw pillow. Damn. Literally smaller than the size of this throw pillow. Hmm. I can mess with that. <sighs> Such a waste of fucking money, dude. So, a black morph suit, that's what you're thinking about going as? That's the only thing I can think of. Because I don't really dress up as Halloween. On Halloween. Okay. So, I don't know. I want to dress up as a... Uh, Will Ferrell from uh, Semi Pro. Will Ferrell from Semi Pro. Yeah, you said Ferrell. Will Ferrell. Like Ferrell Williams. <laughs> Will Ferrell. I've never seen that movie. Semi Pro. Semi Pro. It's a it's a basketball movie. Basketball movie. Yeah, his mom dies. Like his his mom dies, and like while she's in heaven, she tells him how to do an alley oop. <laughs> and he's like apparently the first guy to ever do it. It's it's a great movie. I I just spoiled it for you, but that is a strange plot. Yeah, man. I don't, I don't really have a sound guy right now. So. He's in the back. He's busy right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, He's our editor. With our secretary. Yeah, shout out to our editor, bro. Um, shout out to um, Jeremy Benjamin. We can put his link down below. AKA Hit him up. Me. Great content. Good AKA guy. AKA me. I'm really Jeremy. Really nice guy. I'm He's Jeremy. Jeremy. Jeremy Benjamin. Um, Jeremy. Um, What's the sound guy's name? Sound guy? Yeah. Oh, Alec Baldwin. I'm Alec. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Yo, you heard about him like uh, no. killing someone on accident, right? In a movie set. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. like a prop gun, but it and was a Trump real gun. called him like the worst actor ever. <laughs> the classic thing Trump would say. Bro, that's not fair, dude. All he did was shoot someone. Yeah, that's not that bad. The baby did that in Walmart. That's nothing. That's not that bad. Dude, Dave Chappelle's like one of the greatest for that line. Dave right? Chappelle's a G. <laughs> he really is, dude. His oh, daughter was there God. too. The baby's daughter. She saw him kill a man in Walmart. Jeez. That's some crazy shit. In the great value section and everything. <laughs> he was holding a bag of, <laughs> of off-brand Lay's and everything. <laughs> crazy. <Dude>. He folded. <laughs> Got baked. I'm still on the topic about Halloween, right? Uh-huh. So. I'm excited for if it. If you were going by yourself. Oh, uh, by myself. To like a, the club or a party or something, right? You'd go as a more suit. What if you were going No, I would someone? not go as a more suit. If I was going to, like, a club or a party, I would not go in the morph suit. <laughs> they will not let you in. No, though. they wouldn't. <laughs> now, if I were to do that, I'd, I'd do something a little classy. I'd be, like, fucking, like, Jordan Belfort or something. That'd be a funny thing to dress up as. I feel like Just a lot I of people... Look, it's an excuse to look classy or right, dress, right, right. you know, dress up. Or you could pull up as Groot. Groot. All black, like a gray, mm-hmm. gray scarf. Yeah, do that. for sure, for sure. Yeah. Or, um... The food critic from Ratatouille. That dude. That motherfucker. He's creepy as fuck. 
He is. He has like he really dark vibes. bags in his eyes. Yeah, pedo vibes. Pedo vibes. Pedo vibes. So if you were going with like shoddy, bro, mm-hmm. you know, which is relevant for you now. Yeah. I won't put too much out there. Yeah. But it's it's quite rele- relevant for you now. Yeah. You know? <laughs> um, not like best idea for a couple's costume, but like funniest idea for a couple's costume. What are you What are you doing? Ooh, I already have it in mind. Okay. Oh, I am so. going, I'm going, <laughs> I'm going to be gum and she's going to be shoe, like a shoe, and I'm going to be on the bottom of her shoe. Like gummy, gumby? No, like a gum, like gum, chewable gum. Chewable gum. Yeah. I think that's like the cutest costume ever. Either that or like we could be like, like a pop, like she'll be a pop tart and I'll be ketchup. And then we'll just like go so well together, like for breakfast. These are like, if if not that, maybe like peanut butter and jelly. She'll be okay. That makes sense. She, she, where the fuck did you get ketchup and pop tart from? She'll be peanut butter and jelly, and then I'll be the toaster. To toast the oh, peanut I butter and jelly. Just, okay, so you didn't even stop there. What do you mean? So she's she's. I thought you were gonna be peanut butter and she was gonna be no, jelly. No, she's, like, she's gonna be the shoe. <laughs> she's gonna be the shoe and Bro. i'm gonna be the peanut butter gum i don't know how you made me feel high just now even though i'm sober <laughs> that, that's like a it's high a diet coke, like bro. that's like if a pregnant lady wanted to make costume ideas ketchup and pop tarts mm. no she'll be the pregnant lady could be like a submarine and then like she'll she'll put like a captain's hat on her belly so her kid is the captain driving Bro. a submarine that's clever, bro. That's clever. Have you seen the Transformer costumes, bro? That I don't know why that reminds me of. Like the little Transformer. kids that actually like transform. Yeah, like they're on their limbs, right? And they're a fucking car. Once they stand up, bro, like yeah, that's, that's sick. Just, I think that was that's crazy. That's money, though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, damn well the parent dropped a bag on that, dude. That is innovation. Um, a lot of people have been repping their colleges lately, for better or for worse. I barely consider myself going to college. Like, <laughs> it's it's online, and I don't. I just do the dude, homework. I can't as do online. I don't know why. I like it because I have more time to like work and do other things. Right. So that way, but like, are you actually like inside. doing good in the classes? Yeah, yeah. Like I'm passing them all. Damn. I have like all A's and like a B. But it says everything's online, so I just sort of do the homework as it comes. Sometimes I get, I procrastinate too much. You know what's crazy? In the hits, but it's it's not, What's up, dude? What What's crazy is that like, I, I do in person, and I'm still failing my classes. I mean, sometimes online can be easier. Just because you have more accessibility to different like resources and stuff. I guess. Because you're at home and you can get another laptop. Or get I feel like I would not even show up to like the Zoom meetings if I did online. I don't even have Zooms, bro. What? I don't have any Zooms. Dude, I'm about to transfer. Dog, it's so easy. <laughs> bro, I'm about to transfer. I'm chilling. I get to work 40 hours. I get to go to the gym. I get to do everything I got to do. And I'm still getting my schoolwork done. I've been finding time for the gym lately, which is good. That's good. It's important. Yeah, before that, I've just been like working with a band, dude. But um, with a band, working with a band, resistance band. Oh, they said with a band, <laughs> like an actual band. Yeah, just I work out with out a band. With money. <laughs> it's like a fucking boy band you pull up to the gym with. <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking about like a band, like no, with a band, no. <laughs> like Bro, we got three different type of bands. We we can't understand each other. We got resistance bands, like a musical band, and then bands. So you're talking about honcho band, honcho bands. That's funny. <laughs> Pulling up with like BTS to the gym, bro. BTS. All right, Jim Cook. <laughs> you saw? Oh, no, that's fucked up. Cut that out. <laughs> cut that out. <laughs> this guy, this guy. <laughs> cut that out. That is not valid. Ah, oh, mm-hmm. shit. Okay, so at the gym, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, between USF and UT, who do you see more at the gym? I don't know what that question means. I don't know what you're asking me. Like, um, like, you, okay, what college do you see the most that people rep? Like, I don't really clothing see. Clothing wise, I don't see any where I go. I don't see color. My no, <laughs> I, 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 that's true. I don't. But, but I need to make that clear. I don't see color. I see character. I see character. And the gym that I go, it's like one of those like private gyms, sort of. Yeah. It's not like a commercial gym. Right. And no one wears any college outfits college anything there most maybe would be like st leo because okay. st leo is is nearby is nearby yeah that would be the only college all right but other than that no nah. um going to the gym is a huge priority for you mm-hmm. and you go really often too yeah. every time that you're posting on your instagram mm-hmm. 
like is that when you while you're at the gym or do you just save content for later and you just post? that's that's when I'm, I'm at the gym okay i feel right. like stories have to be taken live like genuine and shit yeah i feel like if because sometimes i don't post for like days and it's because i haven't been at the gym and i've been really busy because sometimes like you know work school catches up to me and i gotta do that yeah but yeah, what the fuck is that so yeah, you just gotta be genuine with it i think that's actually the smoke alarm the battery you hear the like it sounds like a basketball not that like um, basketball court okay i think it was just a thumb earlier oh okay but um but wait, that's been alarm. going on yeah it's my smoke alarm it's because oh, i have, um, I I I have a carbon monoxide infestation right now really yeah so it's actually my whole house is filled with carbon monoxide and i'm just waiting for it to clear out in like a couple weeks or so before but, or after but other, your but, other, but other than that before it's, after it's just an annoying sound is all but it should be all right damn so you're saying like i'm dying as we speak no not as you speak like a little later it's fine if anything it'll boost your testosterone it's carbon it's, monoxide it, it's clinically anything proven that's bad for you is just gonna boost your testosterone what doesn't kill you makes you stronger that's how it works so that's why I, I like to make things difficult for myself right so i could be like the best of the best so i make sure that I my house that. is filled with I carbon monoxide <laughs> and i just make things more difficult for me do not understand so, that. you want another example of sure. how to make yourself a stronger better person shoot sure. biggest thing all right you go to the bathroom you normally have your soap by your sink right mm. all right put your soap away from your sink <laughs> so you pee and then you go to wash your hands you wet your hands where's the soap now you have to walk out you have to walk out and you have to get soap from outside so now you're sprinkling water on the floor as you get soap and it's just difficult it's like in, it's a big inconvenience i hate that dude when i got like water on the floor because like the towel's not right there dude yeah so i i got a pre-med homie bro mm. um and this is serious he would have soap on the right hand sanitizer on the left and a towel like somewhere in the middle he would wash his hands first dry and then hand sanitizer on leave the bathroom and then there's another hand sanitizer bottle out there waiting for him to hand sanitize again so he washes hands and then he puts on hand sanitizer no he dries off his hand and then he puts on hand yes. sanitizer opens the door leaves and then puts on more more hand sanitizer damn is that excessive it might be because that's drying your hands out a lot. <laughs> it might be. It just might a little, be. I mean, just a little bit. Where, where do you stop? Where do I stop? Yeah, where's the line for you? <laughs> I don't even wash my hands, bro. I think. No, I mean, I wash my hands like once or twice a week, you know, because I like to have <laughs> the essential oils on my hands, make sure I'm moisturizing and like my body's producing a natural good amounts of oil. So within like the second or third time in the week where I wash my hands, I'm like, all right, that's enough. And then I let it just like reset. What a king, dude. No, this yeah. is why he's a role model. I'm all about building up my immune system. And <laughs> and like I said, I like making things difficult for me. So I like I get my hands dirty and I don't wash them. And then I like, you know, it builds a mental fortitude, you know? Bro, even after number two? I mean, I don't wipe, so I don't have to wash. <laughs> so so it's, it's, it's very, that doesn't matter. That doesn't, that what doesn't a shocker. impact me. Oh my God. <laughs> Men's don't wipe. Do you think the cavemen wiped? They didn't wipe. That's why they're extinct, bro. <laughs> yeah, but they after all a long hemorrhoids. time. <laughs> <laughs> they all died. That's funny, They tore themselves to death. <laughs> my ass. That's the cause of extinction. <laughs> not wiping. <laughs> bro. No, that's funny. They're not going to put that in the history books, I swear. Nah, bro, they wipe that shit up. They don't want us to know the truth. <laughs> But Red Bulls go hard. You fuck with Red Bull? I do. Um, it's my guilty pleasure. Vodka bro. Red Bulls are very nice. It's I wouldn't say they're dangerous because you can still taste the vodka. Yeah. I mean, at least I can because I do like half and half. <laughs> it's like half and half tea. Can I get a half and half? <laughs> no, I don't do half and half. But like, I just um, people have like shotgun before, right? Yeah. Where they'll pour the shot into the hole. Uh huh. Yeah, like you drink a little bit of Red Bull and then you put the shot in. The, yeah, 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 yeah. I like to drink it as a drink. Oh, me too. So no, I would pour out I the think Red Bull. It deserves it. It deserves yeah, that, like yeah, actual no, pour. Red Bulls taste nice. They don't yeah. taste bad. It they taste artificial. Correct me if nice. I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure Red Bulls were made as a mixer, like primarily for mixing with alcohol. I know they were made so you can party longer. Really? That's it. So that might make sense. Yeah. But it's great though. 
That's, that's honestly great. Same with Mountain Dew. I'm pretty sure Mountain Dew was also created as a mixer. That makes to sense. To be mixed with alcohol. So I tried something recently, like around this time last year. Mm. Whiskey and ginger ale. Oh, that's a good combination. It's a banger. It's a, like, it's a solid People one. just hear whiskey and they were like, oh, Coke. Yeah. You know? Whiskey and ginger ale is good. Dude. It's solid. Whiskey and ginger ale. What about whiskey and Mountain Dew? I've never tried that before. I've heard good things. I've heard people talk about like Jack Daniels and Mountain Dew. I've never like mixed a, anything with Mountain I, Dew. Like Mountain Jack or something. It. And what? It's called like Mountain Jack is what Mountain they call Jack. it. That it's sounds just, dope. It's a nice name. Dude, I have not tried like Mountain Dew with any type of liquor. I might have just made that up. Now I want to try it though. Not now. Mountain like, Jack. That's a good name for it. I don't know if people call it that, but it should be the name. You guys will see a Mountain Jack review coming very Mountain soon. Mountain Jack review. To a city near you. Like that shit is coming soon. It will be fun. in the AMC near you. <laughs> in the nearest AMC. As long as you're a Stubbs member, you'll be you'll have exclusive access to <laughs> do you, it. Do you think that shit's a scam? Stubbs members? Stubbs members? Yeah, it's only good for like the first time you use it. And then you get like free refills on a large popcorn, which you don't refill at all to begin with because it's so fucking big. You don't. It's too, it's too much popcorn. It really is. And I can't eat that much popcorn. Like, I just, you know, halfway through the movie, I'm done with popcorn. And I'm just drinking like my soda. Bro, my mind stays in the gutter, so I got to bring this up. You know that, uh, it's not, I don't even think it's a thing. I think it's just a joke, right? Mm-hmm. people have done in like movies before i've seen this on the Chappelle show that's why i'm bringing it up uh-huh. it's like where they cut a hole at the bottom of the popcorn bucket and dude sticks the cock like right there bro <laughs> so like when the girl's reaching over bro that's funny isn't there they did that with a pumpkin to for halloween oh, pump- a pumpkin <laughs> it's like they're, they're pumpkin carving and he carves it in the bottom he's like hey look look at my pumpkin and he's like <laughs> then you take the top off and like you go inside and I it says the top off do you like hot sauce? <laughs> but it's a pumpkin, and then you open it up, and it's just a dick. Mm-mm. It's a dick in the pumpkin. Yeah. I think dick jokes are very immature. Dick jokes? Hence yeah, why I bro. like them. Yeah, we're, we're, we're ahead of all of that. We're, we're past that. I, I, can't, I, I can't even come to that area of, like, jokes and stuff. I'm way past that, you know? I don't know. It's not like they're hard to do or anything, but... But it's fine. They're average jokes, to be honest. Phil, get your mind out the gutter. Get your mind out, get your mind out of the gutter, John B. Or <laughs> John. John B. I look like John B. John B? Unpopular hot take. I look like John B. Who's John B? John B from Outer Banks. I don't watch that show. I actually liked it when it came out. It was like during summer. I was, I was feeling good with it. I, it gave me summer vibes. I just felt... It's felt like nice. Chase Matthews or Chase Hudson, right? One of them two? I have no clue. Who... Madeline Klein? Yeah, that's... Matt Lewis? Yeah, I know Madeline Klein. She's like Sarah Cameron or something. That's her. Okay, so what's the premise of the show? Trying to find gold. And then they have obstacles. And they're... It's like lower class versus higher class. That's essentially... So there's hierarchies to it. Yeah, there's like a social hierarchy to it. And then trying to find gold. And it's the, the poor friend group that wants to find the gold. And then the rich people that are protecting the gold don't want them to have it. And... Yeah, that's basically it. That's like a journey of that, and then there's drama in the way, obviously. Dude, um, a show that I'm actually watching too. It's called a uh, House of the Dragons. It's a prequel or it's spin-off a Game series. of Thrones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I've heard Have of it. Have you seen either? No. Yeah. So no. let me tell you about. I mean, I'll tell you about Game of Thrones because mm-hmm. House of the Dragons is fairly new. But Game of Thrones, dude, there are hierarchies to it as well because it's medieval times. Of you course. Know? Yeah. But everybody's going for the throne. Game of Thrones. You know, it's very fucking cool. And their spinoff series, House of the Dragons, right? They still got the same theme song, which I fuck with. But in the beginning, um, the opening scene, it's it's like, you know how generals back then had like, uh, when they were doing war and battles, right? They had like, what's it called? Kind of like Lego sets of the places and shit. I think so. Yeah. I don't know what it's called. It's like a live map. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Uh, it's just like a visual model, representation go, model. Of it. It's a model Yeah, it's yeah, a, it's a visual, visual represent- yeah, yeah, you know what I mean, right? Mm-hmm. So There would be blood leaking But like the blood's got its own brain It's like It's going places Like Toyota type meat <laughs> Like this blood is going places <laughs> It's bro. going places And Guess where it leads? Where does it lead? It leads to a model of the throne The Iron Throne Wow That's clever So what they're basically trying to say is that like it takes this much blood 
to get to the throne to get to the throne i think that's like how life is as well <laughs> that translates directly to life bro modern 2022 life you yeah. would get canceled going to the throne bro fuck blood dude you'll get canceled dude before nah. you can get there bro nah you just go to the throne bro just you just go, go to, to it throne. you just go to it what else can you do what's the alternative not going to the throne <laughs> Go to the throne. Impossible. Impossible, bro. Just go to the throne. And fucking possible, bro. Let me see. 209. So we got Ant coming as well. Um, According to my phone, he's going to be here in like five minutes, bro. But I'll get a notification when he's here. Did you want to take a break until he gets here or you just want to roll? Let's just keep rolling. Okay, but I'm good. I'm chilling in the zone. I'm fine. I'm flow. I got hose. I got gold all right let's see what else can we talk about Ooh. do you like my cow dude you, i love you guys can't cow. see the cow but right above you guys there's a beautiful cow is that the chick-fil-a cow it is not the chick-fil-a cow, cow. it's just a cow it's my cow and okay. it was the first thing that i purchased <laughs> when i knew that i was going to be living in this house like by myself it was like my first act can we talk about that yeah, yeah, we can we can talk about that. Okay, might strike some emotions and shit. Or it not. might just a little. Shoot, sure. might just. I want to say that for Ant, bro. I feel like he's got a good, good. All right, like, but we'll see it for him. Yeah. Okay, but let's Anyways, talk about this cow. The cow. It's really funny because it just spoke to me. The cow spoke to me when I first saw him. I saw him at home through the pain. You know that store at home. It's by um, Costco, in that <laughs> same like area, by like Total Wine and like the outlets. Yeah. It's called At Home At Home. Really good place. Lots of stuff. I bought a lot of shit from there. Yeah. To like decorate. And um, I saw it and I'm like, I need that fucking cow. So I bought it and then I put it above where the couch goes. So whenever someone takes a Snapchat of themselves or any picture when they're on the couch, the cow's in the background. And then you know they're at my place. And it's just... Low key is the cow's eyes following you? Of course. It follows you every, everywhere you go. That's the reason I bought it. Those paintings freak me out. But I still think they're interesting as hell. They're very, they're very nice. Easy to look at. It's like looks like a Picasso the, cow. Doesn't dude. the cow look distressed almost? It looks like distressed? what emotion do you think that cow is portraying? Do you think that cow's alive? In our souls, yeah. In our hearts, it's alive. I know forever moo. Dude, as we what if like to breathe. the cow's back end is just not there? The I know that's back very end? vivid. Yeah, I know that's very vivid. Why would you even talk about the back end? All we see, there's no back end. All we see it's is just like cut neck off. Up. Exactly. What if that's all? Like a fucking deer on the wall. Would you get a cow on the wall or would you stick to the deer? I'd get, I, I like that cow. I have a relationship with that cow. I can't cheat on my cow. So, so if you had a cow, like... If I actually had a cow? Like, my friend has a cow. You know how, like, people hang deers, right? Like, like... Would you hang a cow? Taxidermy? Yeah, taxidermy. There you go. I wouldn't hang one, though. No. I'm not big on that. Yeah, yeah. What's your stance on that? I know you're not a vegan Still, or vegetarian. I love meat. Right. But, like, when it comes to stuff like that, though, it hits a soft spot or something? No. No, not really. Okay. I, I grill all the time. All right. We Did got we Anthony that, with us. Did we get that little interaction with the with the mining? Did we get that on camera? I don't not? think so. Damn. There's no recording. <laughs> <laughs> He's disappointed, bro. Damn, bro. That's a, that's a moment right there. Dude, he was saying that, like, me hitting the mic with my chin, because we were doing sound tests earlier. He said that, like, me touching my chin sounded like Minecraft. Right? I don't play video games, but... They get the, you know what that sounds like though. What, I mean, what do y'all think? That's pretty that's pretty distinct, bro. It sounds like I'm running, you know. <laughs> Could even be Call of Duty, I guess. I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. I do get this cow though. This this cow. That cow's special. Yeah, so before you slid, he, he was talking about this cow, bro. And how it was like the first thing he caught, bro. Yeah, it's the first thing I bought as like I don't know, like as like a celebration type thing, as like my first decision as Homeowner, I guess. Why? Man of the house. Man of the, yeah, I guess that. So, it's a very special cow to me. I think my question cow. is why a cow, you know? It just spoke to me, bro. What, I don't even like say? cows. I don't like country stuff. But I saw that cow, and that cow is just funny looking. So, I thought it'd be funny to just have a random cow right in like the middle of the house. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Are you a beef guy? Am I a beef guy? Yeah. I, I like beef. Okay. Yeah. I was talking about taxidermy, and he was like, hell no. No, I'm not big on taxidermy right That's now. probably where you draw the line. Yeah, I'm, I like evading my taxes. I'm not too big on it. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah. But the cow itself means a lot. It means a lot for sure. Yeah. I'm glad you found purpose in the cow, dude. No, it is my purpose in life. 
<laughs> I've achieved my life's goal. So, so you live by yourself now? I do. Okay. It's crazy. It's a yeah. big change. Like living with your parents for like 19 years, and yeah. then how was that, dude? Like seeing your parents go. It's because they're not. It's even very. A, it's a one of a kind. They're not even in the country. No, they're in. They're halfway across the world. Yeah, they didn't get deported, by the way. Like they chose. Yeah, yeah. No, they didn't get. Re- no, they didn't. They didn't. <laughs> They didn't. <laughs> ice joke. It's an ice joke. It's a nice joke. It's a little cold, but sorry. Um, yeah, it was like living with their parents for like 19 years, and then they're both gone. And this is. <laughs> I mean, what's, what's the? Right, what's we can the change the topic. Side. We can change it. <laughs> you actually want to change it? No, I'm kidding. Okay. Um, yeah, bro, it's lonely. Who would have thought being alone is lonely? Like no one here. Yeah. You got to find like stuff to do, you know, yourself. Yeah. So I've been, I've been really busy. Yeah. I got school full time and then I have work. It's like 40 hours and then I got the gym. <laughs> Who's doing the audio? This Who's man doing the audio is in a therapy sounds? session right now. He's doing so. sounds right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the Jeremy Yo. guy in the back. I don't know if he's doing the sounds. Okay, that's the last one. I won't do that again. I won't do that again. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. Um. Setting off your parents is like a different feeling. Yeah. You know, it's not like you're the one leaving for like college or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like they're leaving. It's, it's like they finally trust you to live on your own. Yeah. And they trust me with the house too. Right. The whole house. That's big. That's big. Yeah. It's like, you know, they're like, okay, we kind of want to chill now. You got this. I trust you. Yeah. It's like the maintenance of it all. It's making sure everything's up to date. All the... The cameras, the water softener, the air You're filters. You're still like, talking on the phone and stuff. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Yeah. Man, that's crazy. South, that right? South. Thank God it's not north. No, I don't know it's not north. <laughs> I don't think you talked to her on the phone if yeah. it was north. <laughs> We're talking about Korea, by the way. Yeah. And yeah, we don't want it to be north. Jim Cook. Jim nice, Cook. Nice. But they took Toby too. They took my dog. No shot. I miss Toby. I'm pretty sure dog does. Dogs. Oh, excuse me. Dogs get treated like royalty over there. Really? South Korea. Really? Yeah, like extra sauce and everything. <laughs> Is that messed up? <laughs> it is. Yo. They don't eat. They don't. Nah, wrong country, fam. Yeah. Oh, man. That, that's we can cool. cut that out. Bold, but might like. Might as well. <laughs> we did have to say that. Yeah, like might as well. <laughs> you might as well. You have to take. All right, so. You actually sound like a game show host when no, you said that. Changing the topic. Um, well, not even changing. I just want to go back to the fact that we're talking about you living on your own because I think it's pretty funny. I had a conversation with my like mom earlier oh. about, yeah, okay. about, uh, I'm actually in class right now and I think I'm going to like drop it. Drop your class? Yeah, I already graduated, so I'm not like sweating it, but like that's still like money that I'm going to lose. Yeah. Um, so I like had the conversation with my mom and I was like, look, like, let me do my thing. I'll pay you back because like, I just started, you know, a new job. Yes, yeah. you know, it's okay. kind of fun, and I want to focus on it. So, no, for sure, see where it goes, man. Yeah, dude, it's, it's cool, all about it's opportunity cool seeing, cost. It's cool seeing like a young Can person. Can we talk like about yourself. the thing you're starting? Uh, what thing? Like the training thing? Not the meth house. Okay. Not the crack house. No. The I, training thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, not the heroin business that you're running. Yo, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, just go. But but the training, right? Like, I think you can really push that shit. I don't know, man. Just like I, how you've been pushing crack. I, dude, you gotta. Okay, we're cutting that. We're cutting that. It's cut. Um, Actually, <laughs> it's cut. <laughs> you know, I think it's content. Yeah, no, um, but it's hard to, uh, like, put myself out there. I don't like to, like, you know, I don't like to be that guy that goes up to random people in the gym and tell them, like, to fix their form. It's really hard for me to do that. Like, I don't like even saying fix their form because, you know, everybody has different anatomy. And yeah, whatever, it's different but, for everyone. Yeah, I, um, this is definitely like a challenging experience, but I think I need it. I think it's good. It's a good um, opportunity for me to develop some skills that I'm going to be able to use in my future. So yeah. that's good. Wait, so are you going to be a personal trainer? Is that what you're doing? I want. Well, I'm, I'm a personal trainer right now, but I want to be a doctor eventually. Oh, nice. So yeah, I got to apply to med school and all that good stuff. What, what type of doctor? Orthopedic. Yeah, orthopedic surgeon. Probably. Yep, that's exactly what that means. That's HD, like audio. I like. I'm definitely trying to get a pork sandwich a little bit, but. I Where's went to it? Aussie oh, barbecue the other day. Really? It's like Are they actually good? It's really good. I thought it would be like compared microwave. to Culver's, how is it? It's like just as good, if not better. Whoa. It's, Aussie barbecue is just a smaller version of Outback. Right. Okay. It's like an But Eden. they don't have steak. 
They do have steak. They do have steak. You can get like a seven ounce sirloin. Okay. Oh, that's, that's, with like, that's like nice. cheese fries, like bacon cheese fries and have shakes. Where, where'd good. you go? Where was it? It's by um, it inter- international it's the by, by the outlets. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's at the outlet. Okay. Dude, crazy good. That's Outback's uh, burger chain, right? <laughs> yeah. Have you had their seven ounce sirloin yet or no? No. I got like a brisket burger. It's like bur- burger with like brisket that and stuff. Good. Really good. Yeah. Very, very good. Like My it. friend got a volcano burger. With shrimp, at Cajun fried shrimp with the burger, bro, that sounds good. <laughs> it's really that fucking good. Good as fuck. It is good. Just putting anything on burgers now. Volcano huh? burger. I guess that like are. onion rings in the volcano shape. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, you know what? what I could go for a sushi burger. Is it I like try ramen the burger. bun is rice? I would. The way I imagine it, I've never had one. The way I would imagine it is just a burger with sushi on it. You just put like three a California rolls or something. Three California rolls on it. It's uh, like a fish. Filet of fish. Yeah, filet of fish. fish. What about acai bowls, man? How, how do y'all feel about Dude, it? Dude, I haven't had one actually. I've had I, one once. I had my first one like two weeks ago. Really? Mine was probably like three or four. Really? Yeah. What just the recently. Hell, dude? Just recently. Yeah, just recently too. It was at Raining Berries. Yes. So the berries. first one I tried wasn't Raining Berries. It was like this hipster ass joint in Seminole Heights, dude. Mm hmm. Weird sentence. That's probably uh, the best, the best kind. Though. That's like authentic. Yeah, <laughs> that's like that's culturally appropriate. Si, yeah, they probably grow that in their backyard uh, type shit. Green and berry is good, dude, but like it runs your fucking bank. It does. It's like what, fifteen bucks? Whoa! For an acai bowl? at raining berries. Oh, grain and berry. I, I go to grain and berry. I went to raining berries. Raining berries. Why How would much they was name it? it so closely? Yeah, yeah it's weird. so what? similar. Yeah. I wonder who came first. I don't know. I think the chicken Me. came first. Always. <laughs> we took that in two different directions. Yo. You and I took that in both <laughs> two completely yeah, nah, different just, directions. We were talking about dick jokes earlier before you came in. Like we were talking about how immature they they were. Yeah. And motherfucker kept on saying "come" and "hard" and all that. Oh shit. wow, that's yeah, that's mature. No, very mature. Yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to insert that in there. What were we talking about? I don't know. Oh, that, that, berries that was just like a filler berry. joke, yeah. realistically. Rain and berries. Um, how, how much is the acai bowl at rain and berries? Like eleven. I'd say it's like eleven. Or so. Okay, that's like chipotle, but fruit. <laughs> fruit, fruit. Yeah, but why fruit would I? Like you know, colored ice cream. You, you ask yourself why you would get that, but that shit actually gets you full. It, it really does. does. It does. Yeah, it, feel, it feels good. It's a lot of fiber. You it's get like a little clean. energetic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's you don't good feel fiber. Slump. You get. It's like lighter fruit. fruit. I'm gonna have to check it out then. Yeah. Like have you ever eaten bowl a bowl of fruit? For I do like I do like smoothies. So I'll take like mixed berries and pop them in a blender. Yeah, some like water you feel and, good after that. Yeah, you don't feel sure. it's very like heavy. Yeah. Like if you were to have like steak and potatoes, you feel heavy. Yeah, no, I usually you feel do slow. like berries for a pre-workout. But when you yeah. have like berries and oats, yeah, yeah, and then like coconut and stuff, you feel good. It's yeah. a good feeling food. Yeah, I got water here in a bottle right now, but like something about water from a hydro flask. Dude, I think I it's the know. metal. I don't know what the metal does to it. But it just gives it like a. Am I tripping? No, I get it, Brandon. When it's cold too, like yeah. off the metal. And then oh, like, yeah. I usually let my hydro flask like rust a little bit. Okay, so that's so, that's a little intense. So I get like extra flavor and seasoning. iron. Right, right. In the water. <laughs> well, it's already iron there. It's just oxidized when it's rust. Well, yeah, it's, but it's extra. It's like fermented. I don't know if I don't know fermented, fermented iron. <laughs> fermented. Yeah, iron. I'm basically making my own alcohol. This man is fermenting iron. It's fermenting iron. Water into wine. This man is Jesus. <laughs> Dude, he's got silver, pure silver running through his veins right now. Literally, bro. That's how it works. Dude, kale has silver nanoparticles in it. Kale, yeah. Absolutely, dude. That's like a nutrient, yeah. Well, like, that shit can affect your thyroid, though, right? I mean, if you, like, overdose, I guess, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, kale's banned for But you. who's eating, you know, pounds of kale at a time? <laughs> like, yeah. I'm not. Pushing kale. <laughs> doesn't taste good. Pushing kale. Pushing kale. <laughs> dude. There you go. Um, like... I went to a class without my hydro flask, like for the first time in a good minute. Yeah, you messed up. How'd man. you feel? Yeah. Did you feel naked? I felt dehydrated. Naked. I, naked I really did feel naked. Like purposes. I'm not even over exaggerating. Like I felt like I did not belong, dude. I felt like I was tired. I felt like, like I wasn't left. ready. Well, and I just had one class today too. That's the crazy part. Have you gone to therapy about it? About that time? I'm thinking about it, but I could also just drive back and grab the damn thing. But I might just go to therapy and. Spend some money. I think that would be the better option. Like better. Get to the root of the issue, you know. Yeah. Dude, would y'all rather go to like a shrink or the strip club and drop the same amount of money? 
So I guess it depends, like, because you can have a learning experience at a strip club, right? Like, if you just take it that way, right? You can, And yeah. that's what therapy is, right? Like, a learning experience about yourself. Do you think therapists nowadays, like, real? I wish there was a therapist here right now so I could ask them yeah. straight up. Like, are y'all just trying to snatch some bills? Like, what's up? Why would they want to help you? Unless they're truly, like, with this like, is genuine, if, they, if, right? if they have pure intentions and they want to help you, then that's great. But they make money off of your... Yeah, for the most lack part, of yeah. control of emotions, like your your issues, they make money off of it. That's, that's, that's like, the whole system. It's a, it's a, whole system. It's yeah. a very skeptical way of looking if at it. If they fix I mean, you, then I can't there see goes that a customer. That's why, that's why I, um, yeah, no, I definitely want to be the type of get doctor to like not see my patients for the rest of their lives. You know what I mean? Like I would like to be the type of doctor that helps someone and like they can live the rest of their life. For sure, yeah. You know, I, I got the perfect segue. Um. Do you think going to the gym can have the same effect on you as like going to the shrink? Hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. How so? It depends on how you view the gym, right? Yeah, your relationship with your mm -hmm. like lifts. And yeah. Yourself. Like I'm a server, and it can get stressful, so stressful, which is like having so many tables, people are annoying, doing all that stuff. Yeah. Going to the gym after, like a long like, ten hour shift of just serving. It's a good. It's a good way to just. So you're relax. tired and you want to like put more stress on your body. Yeah, it's like it's almost like I'm trading stress from like my head and my emotions to my body. To your body, yeah. yeah. That's and then what I it turn is. that. It's like emotional alchemy. That's what it's called. Exactly, emotional alchemy. Yeah. I okay. turn that into muscles. So that's for those who like, for those that don't get that feeling instinctively, you know. It's like you gotta. It's a skill you gotta like. Acquire. You can, you can grow with it. Yeah, you kind of okay. practice it. Yeah. How, how do you go about that? Like, there's no way I was thinking the way I am now about the gym when I first started. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Zero chance. So, how long did it just, take for you to like for that feeling to sink in? Two years. Yeah. To truly no, like. I mean, it took me like a year, year and a half. Yeah. Shit, bro. <laughs> yeah, because before it used to just be like. I felt very skinny, and then you just, you find different goals for what you want. So, yo, it's I want like, a girl. Huh? I want a girl. Yeah, literally, that's or, what I thought. Dude, I but like, that's literally the trend now, though. Everyone's getting sad and going to the gym. Is that a good thing, or is that... I think it's a great thing. I'd rather them go to the gym, get right. sad and go to the gym, than that's, go sad and then and go just, to the bar. And and you go automatically the bar, think yeah. that's a great thing, but, like, don't you think, like, these guys are setting up, like, false hope for themselves, though? Oh, no. What do you mean by that? What do you mean? Because, like, they're going to the gym with the intent of, like... They just want to pull baddies, bro. Mm, so, yeah, it does get toxic to a point, but I mean, they're still, I That's, guess they're still doing something good with their body. Yeah, it's so. like, I, I the guess. ultimate outcome is what sort of matters, sort of like ethics. Like I've seen like ethics. ripped dudes, bro, like toned ass motherfuckers who are the saddest people on earth. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. And, you know, there are times where I have empathy for them, but like times where I'm like, low key, you got yourself in that position. Right, right. Yeah, yeah sometimes the gym isn't enough. Some people, mm. it might be more than enough, and they can truly just go to the gym, but it's like listen a to their style. music, listen, think, work out, and they feel good, and they can work out their issues I think that it's way. A, it's a flow thing. Like, what do you find flow in doing? Like, some yeah. people, for some people, it's painting. For some people, it's going to the gym. For some people, exactly. it's singing. And then some people just yeah. go to therapy. Like, everyone has their yeah. own outlet, their own way of Venting figuring out their issues. Vice. I say vice because their own vice. It's drinking. But... <laughs> Yeah, everybody's got their own vice, dude. And I think we ought to just, you know, bull, bro, and just let it slide, you know? I can agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, that was a good topic. Yeah, that was a good one. I like that. And do you like Red Bull? I don't like it because I have this, like, it's the first energy drink, so it's, like, primitive in terms of the formula. You know what I mean? So it's like I have this what about idea in my head that it's like the worst one for you, but that's probably not true. It's probably the same shit. But yeah, I mean, I don't think any energy drink is really good, good for, for you. you. Yeah. Too many, too many filler. Alani is pretty good though. Uh, I just like to get more, so I just get like Bang or Rain or yeah. Uh, I have Alani right now because I got like free shit, but Bang's still. dangerous, bro. Bangs are Bang. Bangs are different. They're marketed towards the common public. Yeah. As like a regular tasty drink. Yeah, it and is. Then, it is and then really it just tasty. has 300 milligrams of caffeine. Yep. That's a lot. That's, That's a crazy amount. Like when I chug people chug people drink times. that before tests like nothing. Uh, yeah. Like people yeah. just drink it casually and I feel like that's wrong. That shouldn't Yeah. Shouldn't be. It's dangerous. There's you can this, get kids uh, hooked. Have you heard of that shroom thing? It's like a 
It's like a mix of different mushrooms. It's supposed to be like a coffee replacement. Oh, I think so. Yeah, I don't. Think, like, I don't know if it has any caffeine, but it's supposed to be like really good for your head, like brain and I've clears heard of brain. That. Is it like black? Brain fog. Is it like black powder? Uh, I think it's brown. Else? I think it's brown powder. powder. It's called like mud water. Mud water. Yeah, I was oh, thinking black water. Yeah, 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 mud water. Mud water. Yeah, it has like shrooms in it and stuff. Not like like yeah. magic mushrooms, but yeah, but like lion's mane. Yeah, stuff. lion's mane. I think it's like reishi or something. Or reiki. Yeah. I don't know reishi mushroom. It's hard to pronounce yeah, all, all those in that yeah. genre. Yeah. It's supposed to be good for your brain. It's yeah. drinking mud though, like. At uh, one point, do you tell yourself, okay. I've gone too far. Yeah. <laughs> or I should become a vegan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. I think, yeah. That shit was in front of you right now. Would you drink it? Oh, mud 100%. Water? Yeah, why not? I'd for sure drink it. The, the mushroom one. Unless you're talking about actual mud water. because Mud water. Story. Okay, mud, mud water. Like Sonny's like, backyard. Like real mud water? Yeah. Would I drink it? I wouldn't yeah. drink it. I would not drink it. <laughs> that's dirt. Why, yeah. why would I drink that? Yeah. <laughs> no, I wouldn't drink that. You think that it would It would like, fascinate me if you drank it. Maybe it would, but I got an interesting I got an interesting question. Do you guys think that if we as as a people, everyone just started drinking mud water, do you think eventually we would like evolve the ability to digest it? Ooh. Like would there would that happen, do you think? So do you think that's already happened? Where like we've evolved to digest something that we couldn't have like way um, back? I'm definitely um I believe people that live in like the forests, like that haven't associated with like civilization. Those people definitely have different abilities than us. I've seen stuff that says that there's people that can hold their breath underwater for many minutes at a time, casually. Right, there are people Kate that can Upton. eat, like, meat raw. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Kay Upton, I'm pretty sure, can hold her breath for Kate a good Upton. amount of time. Yeah. I mean, she's got, she's got the chest for it, for sure. <laughs> she's got the lung capacity. Yep. She's, she's yeah, an she artist. definitely got the chest. <laughs> I'm talking about her, too. <laughs> like, you know those magic... Those magic stunts where it's like a magician and he's David underwater. Blaine. Oh, yeah. 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 Like that Angel, stuff. All that stuff. That's crazy. Yeah. David Blaine is it's hard to fake legit. that. Chris Angel fakes this stuff a lot. But How did Chris Angel walk on water? Did he just put glass in there? Yeah, yeah. It's okay. glass. All right. It's glass. Glass. Um, he also did a magic trick at Clearwater Beach one time. Oh, Chris wow. Angel? Where, yeah, he tried to escape like a hotel building in Clearwater. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah. He had like three people dressed up like him. <laughs> Running through the building, bro. That's pretty cool. That's dope. Was that recent? No, that was ages ago, dude. Before I started watching Chris Angel in like 2010, 2011, dude. That was that when I started? Mm. So this is like probably like 2007, 2008-ish. You know, when like uh, he did this stunt. But um, he had a very bad repertoire, bro. Of just faking tricks. But like, that's the point of magic, literally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It is what it is. When you it actually, looks like, like it. It looks into like it. he did what he, you know, he's saying he's doing. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's all fake. Yeah. yeah. Unless it's not. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's all fake. Man. Unless. Phil, Phil definitely at the end of the day, levitated not. in front of Dude. me the other day, man. <laughs> Tell him about it, bro. Dude. Okay. So, you know, we were, we were chilling in the, at his crib and, you know, maybe there was some marijuana, you know, being used. Mm -hmm. um, we can cut that out if we there need to. There was not. Okay. There wasn't any, but, you know, we were feeling good. So uh, Phil was standing up. I was sitting down. And he looks at me, he's like, dude, you want to see me fly? <laughs> and I was like, dude, if you can do it, go ahead, try. I'm not going to laugh at you. I believe you. So he stands there for a little bit. And he's standing with his feet, like, close together. And he's got his, ar like, his arms out in, like, a meditation, like, type of way where he's just, like, drawing energy or some shit. And I swear on everything I love. <laughs> I looked at it. I was watching his feet the whole time because he said he was going to levitate. So I was like, okay, let me just watch his feet. This man, bro, I, I, I was watching him for a good 10 to 15 seconds, and he levitated. Like, his feet came straight up off the ground and back down. And he's about to do it right now. Let's see if I can catch the way he does it. Because I'm telling you, like, I was shocked. Can <laughs> I, okay, so he's got his he's got the left arm coming up. His feet are close together on the ground. He's standing. He's looks like he's charging up. Okay, he did it. I saw. I think I saw he's this levitated. time. I saw this time what How'd happened. How'd you do it? How'd you do that? I, I just I'm, I'm just like that. I uh, I I'm definitely like caught I caught it this time, but uh, well, the first time he I definitely really to get that I'm in shock. Right? I, I'm in shock. Definitely got me. Yeah. It's, it's definitely angle sensitive, as Ant just saw. Man, 
Yeah. That sucks, but he thought I was a wizard up until now. Oh, 100%. A grand wizard? <laughs> I, I was, look, look, look. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I was maybe, no, seriously, I was probably like 40 to 50% like he actually did do that. That's an honest answer. Like up until now? Oh, 100%. Yeah. I was like, I don't want to. Damn, you know, he got him. That's... I don't want to erase the possibility. And like, I was like, maybe, you know, that was something that he did and he was surprised. So we just don't talk about it again. <laughs> <laughs> so, people don't think, so people don't think that we're crazy. <laughs> I was selling it. I was trying my ass yeah. off to sell it. I was like, not voodoo shit, but <laughs> I, I, I failed a couple times on <laughs> purpose, bro. That's funny. Yeah. Like I was about to shit a brick out, dude. I was like, hmm. <laughs> and I'm still on the ground. That's hilarious. It's like for three minutes, bro. Yeah. It's so dumb. third time, bro. You got it. I got it, bro. That's funny. But yeah, I can't levitate. No, I definitely can't. The song's good though. Levitating. I took the top off. I'm dripping like hot Dude, we literally were talking about that earlier. Yeah. Well, like hanging the hanging the mic over your no, taking the top off. Taking I forgot top how off. that came up. Uh, I'll, I'll bring it up again. I forgot completely. Um, it was like how like some motherfuckers would get like a bowl of popcorn, mm -hmm. cut a hole at the bottom, the dick goes one, the girl reaches for popcorn, and it's a cock. So it was like that, like that uh, video then with the girl with the pumpkin, like the. Like he brought the yeah, the pumpkin. pumpkin. Yeah, so he's like, okay. I took the top off. Okay. Yeah, no, I mean that's definitely She's like. She's on my cocks off. Cut that off. It's a tough feeling, you know, when you when you're like debating, like, yo, should I like expose myself right now? You know. Yeah. It's a very intimate thing. Yeah, dude. It's, it's like very, very okay. Intimate. I'm Wait, doing is this. Is it though because you're exposing yourself? You're you, when you're flaccid. Yeah, like oh. flaccid peen, dude. Like yeah. Going up to her and being like, yo, this is what I got. No, anytime I pull off in the store, I'm getting pranked like that. I, I pop a little Viagra, bro. Okay, okay. I just take pump product. And then, like, the nitrous out. Nit yeah, nitric a pump? Out. I just take Gorilla Nitric. Gorilla yeah. Nitric. <laughs> That's crazy. That's insane. The 7 Eleven product. Bro. I've actually done that once. I don't know. If I've that's straight up taken, like, pump before. That's insane. <laughs> before, yeah. like, Those a, are like the gas station pills, right? Huh? No. Um, no, I'm talking about like pre-workout. I mean, it might be the same stuff. Oh, I'm not even okay. it could be just like it just enhances blood flow to yeah. your muscles. And it, it worked. Dang, bro. It worked. It, it worked. Bro. So you were like right. a tripod for like how long? 35 minutes. Oh, okay. Okay. I like dark chocolate. Do I love dark chocolate? I love dark chocolate. I don't know why people don't like dark chocolate. Is it too much? Is it overbearing? What's No, I like, dark, like dark chocolate, chocolate? dude. Because okay. I won't always go for milk chocolate. Actually, I'm more likely to pick dark chocolate than milk Over chocolate. chocolate. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Dark it's chocolate almonds sweet. is... Too, too yeah, sweet. milk chocolate Excellent. can be too sweet, especially yeah. the Hershey's one. I think uh -huh. the Hershey's yeah. one is too sweet. For sure. I like like 30% cacao with my dark chocolate. Just like just like a little sweet, oh, but it's oh, mainly dark. Bro? It's like the perfect, huh? You be reading the percentage? I, have, I, I read the percentages on everything. Percentage is important. You know the Swiss uh <laughs> cheese? What'd you say? Percentages are important. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I heard something important. I'm sorry. My mind's in the Dude, gutter. your mind's in the gutter, man. It Get is. it out. It really is. Come on. Um the the Swiss mix, right? Mm -hmm. For the hot, chocolate. hot I, chocolate. I love the Christmas edition ones. Oh yeah. Those, those are the Christmas the cheese in it? ones. Yes. That tastes and like my childhood. I'm telling y'all, as soon as like Halloween's up, bro, they're gonna skip Thanksgiving. Yeah, they're they're, we're, they we're just kind of less do. thankful they now. Usually, so. Yeah. We'll just go straight to Plus, Christmas. like Native Americans and shit, though. Like, what's y'all stance on that? Should Thanksgiving still prevail? What do you mean prevail? Like, over or what? because you know, like the whole uh, controversy about the Native Americans and right, things. right. So, like, do you think we should celebrate Thanksgiving or not? It could be seen in that night, like that's yeah. where it derives it, through from. that lens. That's where it derives from. But then again, it's also how you view Thanksgiving as it is. Some people don't view it as much you can other than just sharing that, bro, food. Honestly, you could change your Some people just have Thanksgiving that. and the whole idea of it is to eat good food and share it with and people you care it. about. Yes, bro, yes. And I feel like... That's why Friendsgiving is I, becoming such a popular yeah, thing. Too, I feel like so that should be matter. universal. I once met this lady at work. Super nice woman asked me like where what I did and stuff because mm -hmm. she used to see me at work all the time because like, I work a lot. Mm -hmm. And she invited me to Thanksgiving to her house. On Thanksgiving, her and her husband and like her family, mm -hmm. because I told her how like I'm living alone and stuff. Super sweet woman. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's a really nice thing to do. Yeah, yeah. And she said that she's done that before with like people that I have family here, but she didn't know that. Right. So she thought it was like just me, and she wanted to invite me so I didn't feel as alone. Damn. Really, that's very really nice, nice thing to do. I'm still hoping humanity, man. That's yeah. Great. No, not everybody's a dickhead, you know. Yeah. But yeah. for the most part, they are. Yeah. Nice lady. For the most part. For sure. 
Sorry, we're collapsing slowly but surely. Slowly. <laughs> slowly. We'll take it slow. Yeah. So it'll we're be fighting a slow now. fall. There's some, there's some people fighting, trying to help us. There are. Can you name one? I think Elon Musk has good intentions, but I think it's going to get to his head Am at I? some point. Because I think people are going to realize that, especially if we don't figure out the global warming thing, like which I think we're we're starting to figure it out a little bit, but he is going to be like the head guy if this Mars thing happens, I imagine. Mm-hmm. And yeah, um, you're right. So he's going to be working with the government pretty directly, I think. Okay. Um, because the U.S. is obviously going to want to claim Mars. Here's let's where, be honest, and that's yeah. why I think World War Three is going to come in is with Mars. Well, to be honest with you, yeah, I don't think it's going to get into his head because yeah. he does not want to live forever. That'd be crazy though. If, like that's there was a whole saying. villain story. Do you think about it? Russia, Russia has a great aeronautics, like space, space and aeronautics program. Like they're, they're yeah. pretty as advanced mm-hmm. just as much as us, I think. So they could do it on their own. Maybe China could even do it on their own. Obviously, the U.S. is going to try to do it on their own, even though, yeah. you know, we have all this. There's so many ways this could play out. So many ways. Dude, I think it's realistic, bro, to see some tension build up at the end of, like, this century, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I can see that. Yeah. Think we'll make it? We're global warming? I think we'll make it. I think we'll make it, but our grandchildren are going to be struggling, I think, if yeah. we don't figure it out soon. As long as we all... Like, like I said, I think we're on the right track. Yeah. As long as we all collectively... Like as a group and as humanity, impossible. Yeah. You didn't even finish, but impossible. <laughs> is, yeah, Lower our AC just a little, we can help counteract global warming. But really, is that true? I think so. Like, like just live in warmer conditions in our house. Like, is that what you mean? Yeah. Okay. I so mean, I can, can get behind that. Out. I can get behind that. I don't know if that's necessarily. I don't know. That's, is that true? <laughs> can we fact check that? <laughs> it's been some <laughs> doctor or some shit all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, like, if we all do that within like 20, 25 years, Bull, we'll be able to yeah. fix it. Man, drunk it, one Red Bull. It vitalizes it gives your you body wings. and mind. I have oh, wings now. God. It gives you wings, yeah. man. And I'm flying wow, that's to the OG Red Bull, too. That's the last can I would ever pick up, to be honest with you. It's, it's, a classic, it's between bro. that it's and a, a certified black monster classic. can. I think I'm choosing the monster. Really? Yeah. I don't like regular monster too much. I used to when I was younger. It's super right. sweet. Yeah, me too. But it's so much sugar. Just any it any is, of these, way is. too much. Yeah. So September's about over, y'all. Um, I'm gonna talk about Halloween one last time. All right, that's the next holiday, right? What Halloween? Uh, I mean Labor Day, right? Is gone. Labor is gone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah gone. So yeah. we got yeah. Halloween, and then we have. Thanks no, that's, that's Halloween, and then oh. after that we have Halloween. We got three back to back Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. After Halloween, we got Easter, and then after Easter, it's President's Day, and then it's Halloween. President's <laughs> Day, <laughs> and then the road they really around pumpkins, bro. They really gave us uh, off of school for President's Day. Like the kids cared about yeah, the president. <laughs> <laughs> like no, we just learned that shit for a test. <laughs> We're good. Um, take it though. Halloween, y'all. Halloween, y'all. What's the move? Are we gonna like dress up for an episode or something? More Dude, suits. I'm All three of us more, more suits. suits. I want to be shaggy. I think. Sh- shaggy. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna be shaggy this year. Are you gonna pull up with a wig or not? I might. I might do it. Um. I might be Kate Upton. Pull up. I was Dude. gonna say Velma, dude. Velma <laughs> with the glasses and shit. <laughs> it could be uh. It could be Fred. Fred, is that the Chad guy? It's yeah. the main guy. The, yeah. He's like the leader of the of the mystery machine. Yeah, he wears like white and blue, like a like a. And then Phil, that leaves you, man. Who are you gonna be? I'll, I'll be the van. Okay, so, so we're riding. Here. <laughs> so we can all ride. <gasps> yeah, we can all ride together. That's great. That's great. Yeah, yeah no, I can mess with that. That's wow. For sure. You know, that's a great way to end this podcast, guys, with a dick joke. Yeah. Perfect. Is that bring it, how, does that that's how bring we all back started. So. Yeah, for for Halloween, I'm gonna dress up as a mystery van. So y'all could what if ride. We just paint your body. What if we just paint your body? Uh, <laughs> what? You just paint his body blue. <laughs> Mystery <laughs> machine on the back. All right, y'all. Thanks for tuning in this week. We're going to try to stay consistent. I would like to thank Santi and Ant for popping out on the pod today. I'll sure. link all their ads down below in the comments. All right. Uh, it's happening yeah. next week, y'all. That's all yeah. I got to say. For sure. Yep. Just like that, we're out. It was a pleasure. Deuces.